Okay, I'm out here again today, uh, out here at the soybean field. But anyway, uh, I was trying to make a, another video where I raced uh, the one yesterday of the uh, infantry camp. And of course, I'd had a good video put up of the soybean field I'm at now, and I'd found some good finds, a couple of shot uh, Civil War bullets and a few uh, flat buttons. But anyway, yeah, I was uh, trying to download them on the uh, computer and somehow deleted them but anyway i was out here trying to make up for that but i've got a it was a good signal but it was a mixed in with the iron i barely could get it and i finally found it and then i've lost it again let's see let me get my pen oh right there it is i don't know if you can see what it is that's a looks to be a button i haven't got it out yet and yeah, it's a button you can tell it's got the uh I can't remember what I think they're called tombacks. The one with the high shank on it. The, let's see if it's got anything on the front of it. No, just a regular flat button. Real thin though. Pretty thin flat button. So I don't even think it's got a back mark. No, nope. but it's still a good find. But anyway, I'll get off here and hopefully I'll be back with you. All right, uh, I was walking along the soybean field to uh, try to find some more of these shot bullets. Uh, I got a signal that was reading. It's bouncing around sixties and seventies, and every now every now and then it'd go down to uh, say forties. But anyway, I popped it out of the hole and. It got a little bit better. It rang up about 80s. And I got it in the clod. I hadn't uncovered it yet. It does look like a coin. And uh, it does look silver. So and if it's not a silver coin, then, well, I'm, I was fooled. But anyway, I'm going to break it open here. And it looks about the size of a half dime. My, I think it's another half a real. I bet it is. I think it is another half a real. I found one of these before at that Virgin campsite, and uh, the landowner, well, the neighbor of the land he was he offered to buy it from me and of course i never sell any of my stuff and so for him let me give me permission to hunt there from the elderly lady i'll just give it to him that's what it is it's a half real it's got a hole in it for a necklace i ain't gonna rub it no more but i don't know if you can make that hole out up there or not but it's a half real I don't know what year. So if I can get a year off of it. Kinda hard to tell. Get in the sun a little bit. This is the oldest coin I've found so far. 1730. That's a 1730. Sure is. They've got the hole right there next to uh, where the 17 is, but I can make it out at 1730. Holy crap. My next oldest coin is a, uh, it's a two real and it's a, uh, 1779. This is 1730. You can make it out. I think that's a good find. It's war pretty bad, but it's real thin. But I can make out what it is. All right, well, I'm going to search around this little spot for a little bit, but anyway. 
That's a great find. Hopefully I'll be back. All right, I've been walking around for uh, quite a while since I found that uh, reel. But anyway, I've got another good signal. And it was ringing up like a bottle cap. I dug it out. It's a shot bullet. I don't know what kind it is. It's, it sure is mangled, but... Maybe, well, no, I can see the rings. Thought it may have been a, uh, um, shit, um, infill. Never mind. That's what I was trying to think of. But I can see some rings on it, so. Anyway, it's still a good find. Civil War effect. Hopefully, I'll be back. All right, uh, I've been walking around a little bit, doing some reconnaissance. I'm back out in the middle of the soybean field. Come over here where I found a dropped round ball the other day and got a uh, <clears throat> shot pistol bullet, maybe 44 caliber. Still a good find. Tell where the uh, where the mold was, how it was molded, where they cut it off. Uh, the mold. Anyway, it's a, another good find. All right, uh, I'm back with today's finds. I had a pretty good day. Uh, it was a long day, but anyway, uh, it was a good day to be out. Ended up finding a uh, ball peen, the end of a ball peen hammer. Well, uh, the hammer itself. So, I'm going to put a handle in that and use it myself. Uh ended up finding a uh, side to a lock of course uh i think this probably it'll probably date uh 1900s and of course along with the uh, ball peen hammer and this uh axe head i found i'm not for sure about the axe head uh maybe late 18 uh mid uh 1900s the only thing <clears throat> i found uh these nails were inside where they'd had the uh handle tightened down with the nails and then you had uh, three round nails and then one let's see one square nail there's a square nail but anyway yeah, that's what you, you had three the round nails and one square nail and so that i figure i'm really not for sure about the axe but the handle may have been put back in it probably uh around uh early 1900s anyway uh found this piece i'm really not for sure if Kind of look like a uh, World War II Coke bottle opener, but um, it's kind of, it's broke off something. It's got some writing on it, the edge of it. <clears throat> so I'm really not for sure. Kind of looks like it says U.S. It's the first time I've seen it since it's dried. But anyway, I'm really not for sure. If anybody knows what it is, uh, leave a comment. So you can judge the length of it by my fingers. I've got average fingers anyway. Uh, found this little pewter piece. I thought it was kind of neat. I don't <clears throat> really don't know what uh what it went to. It's like uh you could put your thumb right here and like mash down on it. I have no idea. Found this little buckle. I'm sure it goes some kind of horse tack. Uh, found a <clears throat> excuse me. Found a uh, flat button. Of course, it's a pewter flat button. Uh, I'm really not for sure for the back. I think they're called tombacks, where it uh, raises up, then the uh, shank connects. I'm really not for sure. It doesn't have anything on front. Uh, I found this little brass piece. It's got a hole in the end of it, so thought it's kind of thought I'd keep it. I know it, it goes to something, so maybe I'll find it later on down the road. Uh, end up finding a clad uh, dime. That's a 75. Found uh, two shot bullets. It's a, I think it's a three ringer. It may have been a two ring uh, carbine bullet. I'm not for sure. I'm really not for sure. Caliber probably. Maybe a 54 caliber. I don't know. Uh, 44 caliber uh, shot round ball pistol bullet. And uh, a couple of pieces of camp lead. I started finding that camp lead and uh, it right, uh, right at dark. And uh, so I. Uh, Got to go back and check that spot out. 
you always uh, like finding uh, camp lead. And I ended up <clears throat> fine for the day. This was, uh, I thought I dug it up. It was ringing pretty good, and I thought it was a uh, half dime, but it's a, uh, uh, after I got to looking at it on camera, I seen it was a uh, half real. And uh, I thought it was a 1730, but it's 1780. So that's still it's a still a real good find carlos third um it's in it's in war it's pretty bad shape so you can tell it's got the hole in it where it was around somebody's neck they must have lost it out in the middle of the field years ago but this uh if this coin could talk find out a lot of stuff but anyway well that was today's finds and uh hopefully uh i don't erase this and off the uh computer like I did with my other two videos but uh, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you next week